A spy was sent to you and they brought back reports that got them really scared. <laughs> I'm going to ask, why would they send a spy? Why should they even send a spy in the first place in the first place, Bert? There are certain things that um you've got to test the waters, you know, to know how deep it is to see if it is worth the fight to see if it's worth the effort to see if it's deserving of the attention you're about to give to it. The Bible says that when the children of Israel they were in the wilderness, spies were sent to go check on their promised land, the land of Canaan, so they could, um, you know, no, it is what the fight, if it's what it they were in the wilderness dying on their journey, but they needed uh, 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 they needed some spies to go and check if the land is all that which God has said it would be, and to see if really they can take possession of the land. When you know when God tells you something. And he gives you a snippet of how that thing will be. It gives you... Now, two things happen to two different people. Either you're encouraged to fight or you feel defeated. I have seen people got discouraged. They felt when God showed them or when God told them certain prophetic words, they got discouraged saying... They are not sure to be able to do this. It's so difficult. Maybe God is giving you a prophetic word and he's saying, I want to, I want to bless you. I want to do this with you. I want to do that with you. And do you hear the weight of it and you 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 can feel the splendor, you can feel the glory. But there is still this um this um weight that is on you. You feel like it is too much. You feel like you will not be able to do it. It's so tasking. It's so demanding. But we forget to know that God will not send you on a journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. God will not send you on a journey and remain behind. When God, the Bible calls him the omnipresent God. It doesn't, when God says omnipresent, when, when, when we call him omnipresent, it is not just that. He knows everything. He knows what is happening right now. No. It equally means he is with you right now. He says he will never leave nor forsake us. He says he's going to be with us even to the end of times. What can separate us from his love? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. So there are certain things God tells us and we feel overwhelmed. We feel like I may not be able to do this. It is so demanding. It is so tasking. But God is there with us. That is what the spies who went to spy on the on Canaan land forgot to know. Spies were sent represented from every tribe of Israel. But it came back with a terrible report that got the others terrified. It got the others scared. It got the others crying and wailing and cursing God and saying he brought them here to die. You know, they came back even with a fruit and evidence that it is a great land. They came back with a fruit that would have been their driving force to, you know, a driving force that tells you it's going to be fine. Beautiful, sweet. You know, fruits that were meant to motivate them. But guess what they only saw? They only saw the people in the land that were like giants. And they called themselves grasshoppers. They said they were like giants and we were like grasshoppers before them. Who, who, who called you? They called themselves grasshoppers. You know, one thing I've come to realize in my little work with God is that why you are looking at the situation and you are scared of it, that situation is looking at you and is trembling. The situation is trembling because if only you knew who you are, no situation would, would, would sweep you off balance. If only you know who you are, no situation is going to get you off your, off your feet. Probably, probably they are looking at the, the, the occupants of Canaan as giants. And maybe the occupants of of, of Canaan saw them and were scared. They saw themselves as grasshoppers before the occupants of Canaan. 
and the occupant side of Canaan, they are there too, looking at them, being so scared. Only Joshua and Caleb were able to have a good report. And they said, we are well able to take that land and occupy it. We are well able to defeat those people in the land and get what God has given us. We are well able to do it. Because they knew the God who took them out of Egypt by parting the Red Sea. The God who took the, 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 them out of Egypt with all the plagues. Are the occupants of Canaan going to be more than that God? Are they going to be more than that God? No. No. So many of us, we forget. We forget the things God has done for us when we face challenges. I want to ask you a question. Has God failed you before? So why do you, why do you face a situation and you, you start doubting and you start crying and thinking that God wants you to face it all by yourself? No, God does not want you to face it all by yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. God does not want you to face that situation all by yourself. He just wants you to acknowledge his presence and know that he is there with you. So why spying might give others the courage to fight? I don't know why I keep just diverting, diverting, but you know, many years ago, I used to receive so many prophetic words and life was really very difficult for me. Life was so challenging. And when I received those prophetic words, I'm going to make one prayer to God that please God, show me a glimpse of these things you're talking about. Yes, I have heard a lot of prophetic words. I have heard so many things. But my presence does not even seem like what they are saying is ever going to happen. Please, can you give me a glimpse, a sniper? Can you just give me access into the future? Let me just spy and see what's there for me. You know, I always used to say that, God, can I just spy? Can I just peek into my future and see if really what these people are saying is true? And guess what? What the future holds, it's mind-blowing. It's powerful. And the good news is that God is not letting you, <coughs> excuse me, God is not letting you face this future on your own by yourself. He is there with you to defeat every giant. He is there with you to bring every opposition on their knees. God is with you. And together, you are marching into that glorious future in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.